Guys, in this video today, I came to do a brow tutorial on how I feel in my brows. I don't do nothing real, like, drastic or dramatic. I noticed when I was doing the rest of my makeup that I did one brow heavier than the other one, so I'm going to go back and fix that. No need to say nothing in the video because I already saw it. The light kind of, this, this mirror right here behind me, or behind the camera, um, it's a Vanity Girl mirror, and this ring light, it throw different light on different sides of your face or whatever but anyway for this video I use um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wigs in the color dark brown I also use the benefit um, give me brow to set everything um, to keep my brows in place I use this brow brow primer by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills and uh, to um, deepen them up I use the dip um, down Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. And to clean up my brows, I use MAC Studio Fix Concealer in NW35. And for foundation, I have on Chanel mixed with La Prairie on my face. And blush, the blush I have on is Peaches by MAC. And the lipstick I have on is by Bite Beauty. I have to get the name of that. And for my eyes, I just have on this um, MAC um, Duo Sky. I think that's what it's called. I can't remember, but that's what I have on. And these lashes I have on are from um, uh, um, Galore Lashes. And I don't have the name of those either. I know I already got one look I got to get done for you guys with the black lip. Um, I've been out of town. As you all know, Louisiana go as well. Just feel free to let me know. And enough babbling. I'm going to get on, go ahead and get into the video. Because like I said, it's just my brows. I just want to show you guys how I feel in my brows. And that's it. And I hope everybody doing okay out there. I love you all. And I'll talk to you. video, I'm going to be using um, this Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. And the end of it broke. Um, and the color I'm using is dark brown. And I'm going to use this. Dip brow pomade in ebony, and I'm also going to use this um, Anastasia brow primer, which is just really a wax. To I use this to keep my brows in place before I fill them in. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick and show you guys how I feel in my brows. It's real quick, easy, simple. It's not nothing big, fancy, over the top. It's just I just this is just how I regularly fill in my brows, and I'm going to take this brow pencil by it. And I'm just going to brush my brows in place and um, I'm going to go ahead and start the tutorial. And I brush them up in an upwards, upwards motion. And um, yeah, that's it. They need waxing or plucking, but I'm good for this video. And I just take my spool and kind of shape them up. Then I take my brow um, primer and it just looks like a little fat crayon and it's like wax. So I take this and I put it on, I apply it in the direction I want my brows to stay, which is up for the front end of my brows. And I go ahead and take my brow wigs and um, I start at the beginning of my brows and I make short, quick hair like strokes to mimic the hair in the beginning of my brows. Um, so I'm going to do that really quick. And I'm using a very, very light hand. Because, like, you can see that I did something there because there's a difference between this brow and that brow. But it's like very, very light. And so I do the other side as well. Then once I got them like I want them to be, I go ahead and fill in the rest of the brow. Which I'm going to put my camera down, I mean my mirror down and just look back here. And I'm using short light strokes I found the shape of my next brow which my brow was going to go into thick at the end of the tail I was placing perfect brows so that's why I feel mean 
So I just want to continue to feel me. So I can take my spoolie and I brush through. Steady brushing in the same way that I want them to go. And then I take my dip down and I'll take the end of the egg brush and I dip it in here and I and I just fill in gaps just fill them in to my liking to my desired amount of product that I want to put in my brow and I just go through and do that not putting nothing else in the brush just using what I left in the brush And that's good enough for me. So I brush them up again. And I kind of shape them with the spoolie. So I think that's it for that brow. So now I'm going to go to the other brow. And I'm just picking back up some product off of my wrist right here. And doing the same exact thing that I did. Just short, quick strokes. Because I want the strokes the strokes. <laughs> I want the product that I place to mimic my brow, my brow hair. So I'm going back in, getting more product, put it on the back of my wrist, and going back in. Which that is good enough for me. So like it to each his own with your brows. If you like a big, heavy, dramatic brow, then you know you would go in with more product. But me, I'm content with the way my brows look now. And so all I'm gonna do now is put the top back on this, of course. And I'm gonna go back in with my with the top of my own. I don't like that halo look or that perfect look up there. I just do my foundation up here in this area but down here is where I um, clean up it so I'm just going short strokes so I get the product where I wanted it and once I get into the front of my brow I use the lightest hand that you could possibly think of because I don't want it heavy I want it more heavier here and lighter as you come into the front. And so then I just take my finger once I have that done, blend that in, tap, blend. And then I do the same thing for the other side. Back brow um, set. I thought I bought it in here with me, but I must did. Or um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna use this since I, this is what I got right in front of me. This is um, Benefit Brow. You no know, Benefit Give Me Brow, and the color is uh, medium deep. So I'm just gonna take this little spoolie on here and set my brows, and then I'll be through. If you um, use a, some kind of brow set on your brows, it really, really helps to pull your whole brow look together. And also, it keep your brows in place for throughout the day.
And that's it, you guys. That's how I do my brows. Nothing big, nothing fancy. Um, I'm pretty sure once I get back in my bathroom, in my mirror, well, I could do it in here. I'll take another spoolie brush and just mess with the inside of my brows until I achieve what I want to get, the look that I want to get that I'm going for.